This is a review of our best-selling foam bike bag. Basically, these bags they sit on the crossbar, go in handlebar stem, and tie around the top tube on your bike. Here are four different versions, and I'm going to explain basically what the difference are between each one. We call them generations, so we've got generation one, generation two, generation three, four. That was the earliest, this is the latest. There is in fact a generation five on the way, which will be later this year, but we'll just concentrate on the existing four at the moment. So this is the original one. Underneath has two Velcro straps, which just go around the top tube of the bike. Here, we have another Velcro strap, which goes around the handlebar stem. Inside, so with this you get a cable which will connect out here, so it's a jack to put your, your phone cable in and your earphones. Here you've got a couple of extra bits of Velcro if you want to extend anything or if they break, just some extra Velcro in there. Here, so you've got enough room in here, you can put a battery pack, you can put a wallet, you can put your keys, you can put a puncher kit, put a couple of energy gels, whatever, it's, it's quite a decent space. Here is where your phone's going to go, so you just, using mine, you just slip that in there, velcro it nice and secure, so you can touch it like that. So that's the, the generation one. So we'll move on to generation two. Now the difference here between these two versions, as well as slightly different look. The main difference is going to be how it connects to the bike. So at the front here, you have an adjustable tie round like that. Underneath, again two straps, but here you have a very uh, much longer. So the idea of this, that this won't go around the top tube, this will go around the lower tube. So if, if, you've, if you've got a frame which is a lower tube, it will it will go around there. Inside, again, exactly the same as the previous version. So the third generation looks like the second generation, made from the same material. However, main difference here, we've added another strap underneath. So here we have two shorter ones, Velcro. So if you just wanted to put those on the top tube, it would hold it in place. Here, we've all, this is a long strap again, but we've made it with a, with a buckle so that you can pull it tighter so it will go around the top tube. Also it can go longer where it will go also around the bottom tube. But if you just decided not to use that, these two would hold it in place. Also at the front we have both the connectors from these on there. So we've got this one and this one. So the idea is it should fit better on a wider range of bikes. And moving on to the, the latest, the fourth generation. So this is made from a, a slightly different material and it's got a slightly different design. One of the big differences is it's smoother underneath here so it's, it's not going to scratch so much on, on, the, on your frame. Here, I'm getting three connectors, two there. Now, inside, this is where we've got some changes. We have a rain cover. All of these are available with or without rain covers. We have that. What we have in this one, we have a, a key clip. So if you had a load of stuff in here, you can put your keys in there, it's easy to find. We also have a couple of luggage straps. There. The idea of those, if you have the battery pack or something, they can keep that nice and secure, it's not going to wobble around. Also, another change here is this end, the phone pouch is open-ended. So if you've got a phone here, it can just... If I, if I go back to generation one. So this is closed. So I've got my phone in there. That's closed. So if you're the connector, say so you had a battery pack there and you wanted to connect your phone to the battery pack, if the hole on your phone was there, 
it, it, it's going to be an effort to get the cable to join the, the battery pack. This is opened up. So, I'm just going to be lazy now. We can just go straight into there like that. And that is the four generations as it stands at the moment. So there's one, a new one out later in the year, which is basically made from a, a, a more water resistant um, material, but essentially it's gonna be very similar to this. Um, and that about sums the difference up between these four. There's a comment section below if you've got any more questions or any differences, haven't explained anything very well, then just leave us a comment and we'll reply. Thank you for listening.